Do you find yourself often browsing through award websites, wishing someday you'll be able to create something similar? Well, I sure did. So in this series, we'll be going step by step creating our own website, implementing different designs from different awarded websites. So sit tight, let's have some fun time coding. What we will be doing in this series is starting with basic web development, setting up our project, we'll learn about different JavaScript libraries and also choose front-end and back-end frameworks which suits our needs. Let's just get started. What do all great websites have in common? A beautiful preloader. So in the first episode of our series we'll be creating our website preloader which is heavily inspired by Dormule website. The preloader is the first experience a user has with our website, so it must be something eye-catching and entertaining. So let's just get started. Um, we're creating a preloader. This is the preloader we're going to be creating. We're going to be using JSAP for our animations and also paste.js for the loader. And let's just get started. So I'm using Laragon for my local development and also Visual Studio Code for my uh, IDE. Let's create our HTML boilerplate. Also our CSS file. And our JavaScript file. Let's call the JavaScript file at the footer. And our CSS file at the end of the head. Uh, before we start coding, we will want the CDN of the JSAP and also the paste.js, which you can find it uh, in Google. And let's just get started. Um, let's see what we have here. We have the loading text, the progress bar, which paste.js um, automatically injects um, some elements in your HTML file. And the title called the Steve. Okay. It's pretty simple to implement. And let's get started. Okay, so let's put the title here, called the Steve. <clears throat> let's create the title, which will appear when the loading is done. Our preloader container with the with the loading text. Okay, let's so we'll see loading. And that's all for the HTML file. Now let's go start this. Before we go, let's see what we have here. Okay. So I want to change the font. You can choose whatever font you like. Uh, there's no really. I mean, you can choose whatever you want, it doesn't really matter. Let's remove the margin and the padding from the body. Let's go style the title. You want to put the title at the center of the page. So we'll give it a position absolute. We give opacity of zero because we want to uh, make it animate and appear with uh, JSAP. And that's it for the, for the title. Okay. It doesn't appear now because it has opacity of zero. So let's create our preloader container. We want to give it width of um, 100 viewpo viewport width. And also the height. background is going to be black. You can play with these uh, colors, you can do whatever you want, it doesn't really matter. Whatever you like. We give it a grid because we want to put the uh, loading text at the center of the page. 
And that's it for now for this. Okay. And let's move our loading text now. Right. I give a lot of spacing because it looks cooler. Color of white. I'm sorry, color of white. I give a font weight of 700. I'm removing pointer events, also user cannot select it, there's no reason, and that's it, we have the loading text. Now we have to animate the, no I'm sorry, we have to style the paste.js, as you can see now, paste.js automatically um, injects some elements in your file, in your code. We have this base progress. Okay. And we just want to style it. We'll bring it here. Okay, let's go. I'm removing pointer events. Also, use the user select. I'm giving it the index. So it can be at the front. Position fixed, margin, top, left, we want to be, bring it to the center of the page, we we'll give it the width of 400, you can give a width of whatever you want, I, I, I'm saying again you can play with the values, it doesn't really matter, it just depends what you want to accomplish. That's it for the pace. That's on the background. Now we need to um, style the progress. So. Give max width of 400 pixels. I can position absolute. That's it for pace progress. Okay. And you don't have to do anything else. Pace just takes care of everything. And now it's time to animate. So. We're gonna put some options to our pace. You can find this in the documentation. So we want to put Ajax true. Document true. I think that's it, yeah. So what that does is uh, it checks for all the Ajax requests if it's if they are finished, and then it uh, determines if it's fully loaded. The page is fully loaded. So yeah, let's just put some comments here. Document is when the document is ready. And that's it for the options. So we have now some events. So when pace is done, do another function. That's it. Okay, so we'll now create the JSON timeline. So when the <clears throat> when the loading is finished, we want the the progress bar to scale like this. It scales and opens up with height. Okay, so let's go. So bishop timeline pace. It will scale. So that means that it will scale up ten times horizontal and vertically. It will stay the same.
we'll give a duration of 4 the next thing we want to do is we want to give it after the scaling we want to give it some height so it, it opens up right so it's pretty simple just it's really pretty simple if you get the grasp of chase up and that's the simple stuff right and you can do many many stuff with chase up many amazing great things and that's it for the pace let's see how it works Okay, I'm sorry, just took <laughs> many seconds to open, so I was like, well, what's going on? But you have to play with the timing. So how do we play with the timing, right? We want to do this. Let's see now. I place faster and also We want to remove a couple of seconds from this. Yeah, now opens up faster, right? It's pretty cool. Um, what else do we want? We also want to animate the loading so it goes up when it's finished, right? And it fades, it fades out. So let's do this. Also, it happens simultaneously when the loading is done. So when the loading is finished, it just scales up and goes up right and so let's go so the loading text we give it a lay of 0.2 duration 3 passed it to 0 y percent minus 400 and we will also give an cool easing so we're using this here. Easing. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, we give a name to to this animation. So we want to add it when it scales up. So we use add here. And now these two things happen simultaneously. Let's see. Right? It's pretty cool. So. What else do we want to do? So now uh, we want to animate the title. So it opens up. And the loading is finished. We give a duration of 2, delay of 0.3, y2 minus um, 10, and opacity to 1. Because if you remember, we put opacity of 0 to the title, so we animate it to, um, so it fades, it fades up. And uh, let's put in some ease here. Right? I'm sorry. That's, that's a correct one. Okay, so let's see now. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I have to play with the timing, right? Because the timing is not, is not right. So, what do we do? That's pretty simple also. So we have that. Minus. And we have to put the title. We'll remove a couple of seconds. So it... Let's see now. Right? And that's it, you now have a beautiful preloader for your page with page.js and jsub. Um, of course you can experiment, do a lot of things, like I can show you right now in Xabble. Um, first you can put height and scale up, 
you can actually play with this you can do a lot of stuff. Of course in this series we are going to be showing you a lot of different design implementations, copying designs from our awarded websites and step by step creating our own website. So stay tuned, subscribe, give a like, give some feedback down in the comments and talk to you soon. Bye bye.